Okay, this week Samsung released the One UI 4 with Android 12 Beta 2 update and we got some few new features. Not a lot, but really cool new features. And here is the change log of the update. Of course, there is the instruction that it is a beta software update and here's the version. And then here are the two new features, apply color theme and add microphone mode during the video call. And of course, there is a third feature that you don't have control over, but Samsung has enabled the RAM Plus feature, which is a virtual RAM for the S21 series phones as well with this beta update too. So let's go and look at how these color theme and microphone mode and this virtual RAM features work. Okay, so first is the color theme. So the color theme is very similar to the Android 12 Material U. In fact, it's one of the things that Material U uh, enables for Android 12 phones, right? So you can see here my quick panel layout and the brightness indicator. It's all using a different color than the default blue color that Samsung has. And even if I open my calculator app, you can see like it's using a different color than the default color you get in the calculator app. And similarly, if I go to settings, and let's say, let's hop on to display and you will see the same here. It's all using different colors. So this is the color theme, what Samsung is calling. And the way that this works is it extracts the color from your wallpaper and it allows you to choose one of the color themes from that extracted color palette. So to enable that, you have to go to your wallpaper settings and then there you'll have a new option now called color theme. And if you go to the color theme, you'll get the default color theme along with the other color theme palette that it extracted from that wallpaper. So let's take an example. Let's switch to the default color theme. Now everything will change to default, right? Now I'm going to go and pick a different colorful wallpaper. Let's say in this case, let's pick this wallpaper and I'm going to set it for both lock and home screen. Once this is done, now it will ask me to choose a color theme. Now in a happy path, I would actually choose a color theme here, but this is a beta software. So choosing a color theme here doesn't really change. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just pick the default, like the color theme didn't exist and I'm going to skip this. So now when I go back to wallpaper settings and then load the color theme, you can say I already have a few colors extracted from my wallpaper. So let's say let's pick this color theme over here and then tap done. And now you can see everything is changing to that color scheme. And if I go and look at my quick panel, everything is now changed to that purple color theme I selected from my wallpaper. And if I go to the calculator app, there you go. That's also now very colorful. And if I go to the clock app, that's also changing the color scheme that it uses inside that clock app and the phone app too. So all of the Samsung apps, almost most of them do use this color theme from the system settings. Now, of course, this depends on how colorful your wallpaper is. Let's look at some examples. Let's say, let me pick a wallpaper that is completely dark, like this AMOLED wallpaper here. And now what's gonna happen here, if you notice the color scheme you get would be really very minimal but still somewhat better, right? It's better than the default. So I can just tap on set color theme and then that will set the color theme for that particular palette. And you can see already, it doesn't refresh the color themes because this is a beta. And that's why I was talking about how you have to go to the wallpaper again, go to the color theme, set it to default. And then once that is done, now you can go back to color theme again and then select that particular color theme. And then this now will set the right color scheme everywhere. So there you go. So that is there. I'm going to pick something very colorful this time. And you'll see as you choose these colorful wallpapers, you're going to get some really good options. And that's the power of these color themes is that it allows you to choose something very colorful from the different wallpaper set. So let's go back to that wallpapers and then color theme. And now I'm gonna check this orange and brown. Now you got the new color scheme getting loaded. So there you go. And this color theme also applies to keyboard. 
So for example, here is the keyboard theme where you see that orange brownish color theme is applied to the Samsung keyboard. So that's also really good. And yes, the more colorful your wallpapers are, the more colorful themes you're gonna get. So that's something I feel like Samsung might improve down the road to give us more color options. But at least for now, you're at least getting four to five color combinations at the max. The next update is on the video call effects. So this is a setting that already exists in your Samsung phones, right? So these are some extra tools that add to your favorite video call apps where you can basically set a background color or blur your background or set a static background for whenever you join a video call using these apps. Now there is an extra setting here that is added in beta 2 but we can only see that in action when you join a call. Here I am in my zoom call and obviously my camera setup is messing up with the background but you can see the video call FX icon over here and when I tap that I get all of these options and one option is the microphone mode where I can now switch between the standard microphone mode or make it voice focus only or kind of like do all sounds. It's kind of like noise suppression for the microphone mode so you can make sure that the video call that you have is able to capture your voice properly and focus on your voice rather than the surrounding noises. So I'm not sure how it works really, have to try it out uh, and probably it'll get better and better as we get out the beta. But this is a new, another new feature added in the beta 2 update for One UI 4. The third update is the virtual RAM, which Samsung calls it RAM plus feature. So if you go to settings and then go to battery and device care, and then look at the memory, you will see that now you have the option RAM plus the virtual memory feature. This was added in a recent update to the Z Fold uh, 3 devices but good to see that now this will be added to S21 series as well that is running the One UI 4. All it does is it uses your storage to create the virtual memory. So it can accommodate up to 4 GB virtual memory along with the 12 GB that is available in your Samsung S21 phones. So how well will you know this is being used? Not really. You would never know whether this is being used or not. So that's something that is missing here and hopefully Samsung can give more information in the memory usage of like how much of the virtual memory is being used along with the 12 GB of the memory that is being used. So those are the three features in the One UI 4 Beta 2 release. There are still bugs though, so I wouldn't recommend it as a daily driver. For example, I have completely lost the ability to drag and open multi-window through the edge panel for some reason. So. For some users this is happening and for some users it's still working so i'm not sure what bug this might have caused but this is certainly a beta release and not something i would recommend for your daily driver the animations are still laggy in some cases especially while opening and closing the apps but if you look at instances where you browse your recent apps the animation and the scrolling speed is all good but this is still a beta so your mileage may vary depending on your device and how your beta installation goes. But hoping to see the beta 3 soon with more Material U updates. But for now, Samsung has covered us through this new color theme option to experience the Material U in One UI 4. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I'll be coming soon with the Beta 3 update once it's available for the Samsung S21 series phones. Until next time, bye.